Hello, how you doing viewers out there? You are watching Train Antonio's Loveology. You are in tune to an exclusive, exclusive video for Down South Mag, fresh out of Jackson, Mississippi. Um, you know, big shouts out to you guys for showing us all the love and support. And we, we feel really, really good being able to give back and, you know, do this for you guys. So each month we're going to do an exclusive video just for Down South Magazine. And um, just always support and tune in. Today's discussion. Yeah. Also. Oh yeah. Your viewers can always send in questions to us. We have our own show, Trey Antonio's Lovology, that's based on YouTube. We have our own website on Facebook. So always hit us up, give us some shouts, give us some questions, and I'm subscribed to our channel on YouTube, Trey Antonio's Lovology. The question that we are going to be addressing today is one that's pretty hot on the press. You know, um, it is female to male transitioning. And the question that we want to discuss is how would you as a partner feel if your significant other came to you and said that they would like to transition from a female to a male? You're in a lesbian relationship and your partner came to you and say they are getting ready to transition. How would you feel about that? How would you address that? What would that mean to you? And a lot of people out there don't understand that, babe. They don't. Um, it, it's a it's a long process. It's a long. It's a long. It starts from birth, really. Thank you. Yeah. It, it, it's something that, to, to want that kind of transition starts from a very young age when you realize that something is different about something's yourself. Something's different about you. Not just about your sexuality, but right. something's different about your body, your right. appearance. Mm -hmm. So that starts from a very very young age. But I think that's a lot of a lot of people have a huge misconception. Um, that they want to do the FTM to build muscles. They want to do the FTM just to look like a man versus feeling like a man and feeling that they're supposed to be a man yeah. or feeling like they're a woman trapped, trapped in, in a, a man's, man's body. body. There's a total, there's a huge difference. Huge and there's a flip side to that also. Um, you have to think about it. You're going to be considered as a heterosexual relate couple, right? No longer lesbian, right? So you really, you really have to sit down and hold how to talk about that with your partner. If that's mm -hmm. something they pose to you, come in the house one day and or come in the house, however they do it, and pose a question to you know, baby, I know we've been together for the last two or three years, and what do you think about me becoming, you know, transitioning from female to male or however they want to pose the question. Right. Well, I'm going to speak on my behalf and I'm going to let my baby speak after which. Okay. Um, we, we are already shunned on when it comes to me calling my baby he. Right. People are already saying, well, he looks like a guy. You said he, uh, you, you calling him a he, so why are you not with a man? Now you got to flip, flip, this, flip the script and say, but now we have, you know, a, a, a lot more female want to transition to male. So that kind of contradicts who we stand for as lesbian women. Right. Like I said, that transition starts from a little, little girl knowing that she's trapped inside of a, of a male body, pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah. It doesn't happen when you're 25, 30, and you all of a sudden, oh, I want to transition, I want this, I want that. Because me personally... I want to be with a lesbian. I don't want to be with a transitional man. Oh, I give all and that's my that's just my pro personal preference. Um, I told my baby to this day, I would never want you to go and cut your breast off. I love your entire body. She There's does. nothing about your body I would change. She loves. I it. love the look you give me. I love that you can put on men clothing, get a brush cut, get your little line up, and give me that masculine look. But at the end of the day, when it's time for us to take a shower, go to bed. This is all female underneath these clothing. Right. My baby chest will not be cut off. I don't believe, I, I, that's just not me. That's not what I want. I mean, some women can accept their partners um, transitioning and have no problem with that. And as I watched the, what was that, Chaz, Chaz Bono show? Chaz Bono, yeah. And I watched the transition and his girl was going through some times. Opened. And she was kind of struggling with the, his transition because she was saying that, oh, I miss the Chaz that I fell in love with. It's like he's a total different person now. She don't have that Chaz no more. She have that man now. She have the testosterone now. She have the the, the masculine, the, the smell of a man now in her house. And everything is totally changed. Right. And for her, she's I could tell just looking at the video because she was crying. Yeah. She's really struggling with that. She is. Bad. That's just something I choose not to deal with. Mm -hmm. I love my baby as a lesbian woman. 
and give me that masculine look. And that's all I love. That's all I want. I don't want the transitional male. I don't I don't need all that hair growing on the face. Because if so, I would truly be heterosexual. Go out and just date men. Right. I, I wouldn't need that. And, you know, I guess that's what troubles me the most is that a lot of people, um, they, they don't do their research. They don't, they don't research it. They don't go through the talking to psychologists because it's not just a physical change. It's a mental it's change. A mental. You know what I'm saying? So the, the individuals that I know or I have spoken to that have gone through this process and is continuing to go through it. I mean, they've been going through this for years. Yeah, this didn't just happen. This doesn't happen overnight. This is something that have, they have been going through for years. So I can truly um, respect them and see their point of view because to these individuals, they feel like they're men. Yeah. They are men and they were born men and that's who they feel true in their heart that they are. But then, you know, I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there that you know, yeah, if you take this good tea, man, you know, you're going to get that muscles, man. You're going to get that facial hair. Come on, dude, for real. Why put your body through all that if, if up here you're not prepared for that? Yeah. Once all of this change, are you going to be ready up here? That's what folks are not thinking about. And that bothers me and it scares me because you go and do all these changes through your body. This is not something that you can just reverse overnight. You got, I mean, you got to get this right before you change all of this, what other people are seeing. And like my baby say. I'm, I feel masculine day in, day out. This is how I go to work. This is how I, I'm in the house. This is how I go wherever I am. But at the end of the day, when I go in that room, I take my shower. I lay down next to this beautiful woman. I am a woman. I am. And that's what I want. I'm, I'm a woman who loves women. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it. I love her. I wouldn't want her to change anything. She loved me. She wouldn't want me to change anything. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference with having a brush cut versus having the cornrows. But if you're changing, gosh, starting to cut up your body and doing all that stuff and you haven't prepared up here yeah. and haven't felt it up here, yeah. you're doing it for the wrong you're reason. Doing it for the wrong reason. The wrong and reason. a lot of them don't understand, too, that a lot of men that has transitioned are hermaphrodites. Right. They're born with both sexes. And when you're born with both Dude. sexes, you are trapped. Yes. So you have to go see a shrink, psychologist, therapist, or what have you to figure out what, what lifestyle and what role you choose to take to right, live because right. you've got half woman body parts and half men parts. Okay, choose one. Let's go with that one you feel the most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So homophrodites have a choice. It's like, okay, I'm going to be all the way female or I'm going to be all the way male. And that's where the transitioning starts. Yeah. So for people that is coming to their, that are in lesbian relationship for the last however many years and now you just want to whip, whip it around and say, okay, I want to, you know, go tr from male to, from female to male. Yeah. And truthfully, are, is your girl really okay with that? Right. Did you really make sure she's good with transforming from lesbian to heterosexual relationship? It's not just I about mean, you. Because it's not just about you. You have to be open and truthfully explain to your woman why you're doing this. This is for the long haul. You can't, you can't go back once you start this. I mean, it, it, it's stuff you're putting in your body that, you can you can't change. So right. make sure your girl is really comfortable and make sure she's not just saying she's good with it because that's what you want. Right. Because truth be told, I love my babies with all I have. And if Trey wants to transition to a man, that's going to bother me. It's going to make me unhappy. I'm not going to enjoy looking at Trey body anymore because that's not the body I fell in love with. Right. He's giving me something else that I didn't I didn't ask for. And if I wanted to be with a man, I would become a straight woman and deal with men and not a trans man. So I mean, that's that's kind of that's kind of deep. It is real deep, and I mean, and it's something that we're seeing is growing. Yeah, I mean that community is growing, and we're not sitting here and saying, you know, don't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't dare. All we're saying do is, if this is a change that you are going to do, you need to understand it's a life change. It's a physical, but it's definitely an emotional. And you don't need supporters. For your transition. If that's the lifestyle you chose to take, you don't care what nobody, nobody on this earth say. Yeah. 
or think right. that's your transition. That's your transition. It's for you. It's to make you complete, make you whole, happy. make you happy. Yeah. Not about your surroundings, your close friends, your buddies, your pals. Yeah. No. You no. don't need okay from You don't need, okay you don't need that. Else. You don't need an okay from no one. You no. don't. You don't even need that support group. Exactly. It's about you and your partner. Really, that's what it's about. I guess the way I look at it, also, baby, it's like. You know, say, for example, I, I chose that I wanted to do that transition if I made that choice, which I'm not. I could do it alone. I wouldn't need my baby to say, Trey, go ahead and do it. I could do this thing alone by myself and be OK with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know this is what I need to do for me. And then eventually I'll find somebody who can accept me for me. Exactly. And people are not thinking about all of this. You know what I'm saying? Bypass the muscles. Bypass all that. You, you, you've got to really think about this deeper. Do your research, people. Do your research. This is a hot topic out there. It's on the press. Everybody's jumping and on been it. asking us a lot of questions about it. How we feel about, about it. it. Um, Tanya, would you let Trey do the transition? No, no. And it's not that's, about that, letting it's people not do letting, it. Either. It's just yeah. that that's not my preference. There's a difference. If we started our relationship and I was like, baby, man, I feel like I'm straight dude. For yeah. real. I don't know how long I can stay in this body. There's a difference. Then that's with a that. difference because I'm transitioning with, with me. Him. Right. And I understand she knows his struggle in. and I knew coming in. But I'm not going to be with you for five years and all of a sudden now you want to become the male. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. That's, that's not how it works. And, and a lot of it, I mean, there's so much details that go into it. I mean, from the research that we've done, and I mean, not, neither one of us is doing it. But the research is like, you know, there's changing in personalities and, you know, what happens with your job. Yeah. How are you going to transition it with your family? You're changing your name. I mean, name. everything is completely changing. There's a lot that goes into it. And it's a process that needs good planning. Yeah. It, this is not just baking a pizza or heating up a, a, a pot pie or something. Yeah. You really need to plan this out. You know, and I, I gosh, I, there's two individuals that I just hold highly regards, you know, that has gone through it because they've planned it out. It, it's not an overnight thing. They've seen therapists. They've gone through, you know, making sure their body is in, in, in order. They're doing yeah. their blood tests. And I, that's, those folks I hold up here because it's not just an overnight thing. Like I said, this is a life change for them. And they've taken it seriously that they have spoken to the professionals that can guide them. And not just every day, you know, every, 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 every day old joke. Yeah. They really take heed to this, and you know, it, it's on. Un, it's unfortunate that some people are taking it as a fad. It's like a a a, a, a changing of clothes, and that's why again, the heterosexual uh, people look at the gay community like, yeah. y'all all confused. We all what the hell stuff. y'all got going on? Um, why you with somebody that look like a man? You can have me. I'm a man, and now you got the the studs that's really transitioning to male. And now that girls are becoming heterosexual women in a straight relationship. Ah, duh, that's too much. I'm a lesbian for life. Right. I'm a lesbian. And what do those people do once they do the transition? Are you going to change your 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 um your, your relationship status to you know being in a relationship and you're heterosexual? Hmm. I mean, you got to think about all this stuff. So my question to these folks out here is. What do you do if your partner is going through that? And when your partner goes through that, do you stay with that person? I mean, what is do you do? Is it something you're receptive is of? Is it something, something you're you receptive? Just, you, you're accepting because that's your partner and you love them? Or you just, you just like straight out saying, no, I can't do it like me? Or you just do it because you want to make it work? I don't know. Yeah, to each his own with that one, yeah. for real. But well, again, are, these are our opinions. Our opinions. To each his own. It's just questions that has been posed to us. And we're addressing it. Address. And once again, you know, guys, you're tuning in to the exclusive, exclusive video for Down South Mad. Fresh, fresh out of Jackson, Mississippi. Trey and Tonya's Lovology. FTM, female to male transition. That was our topic. Please give us your feedback. You can inbox us on Trey, Tonya, Lovology on Facebook. You can go on our website, on our YouTube, on our channel, subscribe, and send us your feedback. We would love to hear from you. Most definitely. Until next, next taping, we want to say thanks, peace, love, blessings. I love this woman for always. And I love you for always. It's always about love. Down south, big ups, peoples. Peace. Trey, Tonya, Lovology, and we're out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.